production of thin sections on the Pelkan automatic thin section machine is a sequential process. You start out with a block of concrete, natural rock, whatever your starting material is, go through a series of grinding steps to end up with a finished thin section. All this without applying any manual processing of the product. This ensures that we can produce thin sections of a very high quality with a thickness within microns of the desired thickness and each specimen is equal to the previous one. The machine consists of a cutting section and a grinding section. The cutting part of the machine consists of a diamond saw, a two-sided vacuum holder and a guide for the vacuum holder. When cutting the block, it's attached to one side of the vacuum holder. When cutting the final thin section, the other side of the vacuum holder is used. This means that you don't have to change the settings between each cutting. The grinding section of the machine consists of the grinding unit with diamond roller flanked by eccentric ball bearings. The adjustment of the grinding level is very easily carried out by changing the setting of the outer ball bearing. Changing from one hole to the next will result in a grinding thickness difference of 5 microns. Even finer adjustments are available which allow you to control the final thickness within microns, assuring you an outstanding accuracy of the grinding thickness. The other part of the grinding section is the vacuum holder, which holds and moves the sample over the rollers for grinding. The vacuum holder has two sides, one for working on the block and one for holding and grinding the final thin section. From an ergonomical point of view, the two-sided vacuum holder allows you to work in a nice and efficient way beyond comparison to other systems. The initial cutting of the sample is done by holding the block of starting material to the first side of the vacuum holder. Vacuum is then applied simply by turning the wheel. The cutting is then carried out on the diamond saw using water cooling. Once the sample has been ground and glued onto a microscope slide, the thin section is cut from the block by using the other side of the vacuum holder. When grinding the block, the block is attached to one side of the vacuum holder. Vacuum is applied and the vacuum holder is turned. The vacuum holder then carries the sample back and forth over the diamond roller where the grinding is taking place. The grinding stops automatically when the sides of the vacuum holder touches the ball bearings. For the final thin section, we use the wide microscope slide. and the grinding stops when the sides of the glass touches the ball bearings. Once the grinding level has been established, no further adjustments are needed. This ensures uniform thin sections with the exact same thickness each time and regardless of the hardness of the material. Mm -hmm.